Hello and welcome to this free mandolin lesson. My name is Mando Mike and in the next few minutes, next 10 minutes or so, we're going to be learning the great tune by Kenny Baker called Make a Little Boat um, and that will hopefully sound a little bit like this. <laughs> So I'm going to split this lesson into two standards. We're going to learn a slightly easier version of the tune and then we'll look at making it a bit more appropriate for intermediate players. Everything we talk about in, in this lesson is available free to download via the link below. There's a, a little PDF that goes along with this video. So for sort of the easier version, I'm going to take you through this um, phrase by phrase. So make sure you have the tab or the music in front of you. Um, and each phrase is uh, two bars long. So phrase one is bars one and two. That's phrase one, so let's try that together. I'll slow it down a little bit more than that. Uh, one, two, three, four. And that's really the main hook of the phrase and that little motif will repeat itself a few times. So just one more time, three, four. Okay, so that's phrase one. Phrase two is bars three and four. So let's try that together. Three, four. Okay, let's try that one more time. Three, four. So, we're halfway through the A part already. We soon fly through these. Let's try phrase one and phrase two together. A one, two, three, four. Now, on to phrase three. Now, if you've already looked ahead, you'll see that phrase three is exactly the same as phrase one. Which is rather handy. So let's jump ahead to phrase four, the last two bars of the A part that sound like this. So, let's just try uh, phrase four on its own. Three, four. So, I'm sorry for rushing through this, but you can pause me at any point and uh, make sure you can play this. So let's try the whole A part together. Two, three, four. Phrase two. Phrase three. And now looking at the B part, so first thing to mention about the B part is it's only played once. So this is two A's, one B, this tune. And again, we can break this into uh, two bar phrases. And there's a lot of the sixth fret that gets involved in this one. Now, I think I naturally use my little finger on the sixth fret for this one, but I could quite easily use my third finger. It's a bit of a gray area. So whichever of your third finger or your little finger you prefer for the sixth fret is is completely fine. So, phrase one. 
like that. So let's try that together, a bit slower than that. Three, four. One more time. Three, four. And then phrase two is sounds like this. So let's try that together. Three, four. So what I want to do now, let's do phrase one and phrase two together. And one, two, three, four. There's the first part of the B part, and then the second half, just like the A part, phrase three is the same as phrase one. So we've got that, so let's skip ahead to the last two bars of the B part. You need to make sure that last note of um, the seventh bar is an up, so down, 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 up. So let's try that together. Two, three, four. Just like that. So the only thing left to do is to try the whole B part. So here we go, after four. Um, one, two, three, four. tricky that is quite hard for beginner players so please don't uh, worry if you're finding that difficult just uh, have a few goes at it um, it'll be worth the challenge you'll be a better player because of it so the only thing left to do for beginners and uh, before we move on is just I'll bring Jay in and let's play the whole tune A A B so uh, two A parts and one B part um, and then we'll make it an intermediate version yeah one two three four So as you may have heard at the very start of the video, the actual tune um, has some very nice triplets in the melody. So the first phrase, instead of, is actually this, which is really nice. So there's two ways of doing this. One way that I wouldn't touch with a 10 foot barge pole and one way that is a lot easier. So the harder way, which you're welcome to try, but I wouldn't do, is if you pick all of those triplets. Now the problem with that is you end up having to do double downs at the end of the triplet to get you back on track with down on the beat, up off the beat, so there, there. So I think the easier version is a hammer on and a pull off. So if I take um, the first triplet in that second bar, 353 three, or G A G. So the intention is you pick the first, you pick the first one, three, and then you hammer on to five and you pull off back to three and then you pick the next one. 
Now, as I say in the, in the PDF, these are hammer-on and pull-offs, not place-on and place-off. So a lot of people think that if you just go, just put your finger there and then remove it, you'll make the sound. That doesn't work. You have to hammer on and then pull off. You have to physically pull the string off. So just, I, I, when, I, um, when I was learning this, I remember just sitting there going. So just loop that round until you get a sound. And, and you're not looking for a perfect each note. It's an it's a ornamentation, so you can afford to not be 100% clear with those notes. So it's not perfect, but I'm happy with it. So um, let's just play the first phrase together. So the first two bars um, of the A part, now with the added triplets in. So three, four... That's how that sounds. There is one other triplet in the A part that might throw up a few problems. And in bar four, there's a hammer on and pull off triplet for the fourth fret to the seventh fret on the D string. So F sharp to A, back to F sharp. Now, if you were to stay down in first position, you would require your little finger to, to get the seventh fret. Now, I've been playing for 17 years now and my little finger is still not quite strong enough to uh, get the sound I want for that hammer on and pull off. So if you look either side of the triplet you've got an open A before it and an open D after it. So the way I think is that that gives me a perfect opportunity to shift my hand down the fretboard and then shift it back again. So on that open you can shift down here do the hammer on and pull off with your first finger and third finger. And then on the open D, you've got time to shift back down. So, like that. You're welcome to not do the shift. I just don't find it as, as nice a sound as. So, that's the other tricky triplet that you've got to uh, have a think about. And that's how I do it. Shift. One final thing before we play the whole tune is just there's some additional double stops. So at the end of the A part, there's just a drone of the A string, so nothing fancy there. So if your original melody is... Just with every note, hit the A string. Just like that. Oh. Yeah. And then, in, onto the B part, there's a 4 and 7th double stop on the second bar. Just like we mentioned um, with the triplet, there is an uh, open string either side of it, so you could uh, shift down to get that if you wanted to. Like that, I just did it with my little finger. Um, and then there's some other double stops. There's nothing major that will throw intermediate players, but I just wanted to mention them. So, Sounds nicer with those double stops because we're trying to imitate what Kenny Baker did with the fiddle. So the only thing left to do now is play the full tune. I'm going to bring Jay back in on the guitar um, so we can play it with accompaniment. And um, remember, it's two A's and one B, um, and we'll do it. We'll do it twice round just so we get a good old go at the tune. I'll put the metronome on as well to keep us all in time. And uh, do keep. Don't forget, you can slow slow us down using the cog in the corner if it's too quick. So I hope you enjoy playing it. And twice around, two A's, one B, two A's, one B. Here we go. A one, two, three, four.
of um, Make a Little Boat. It's a wonderful little fiddle tune. I do hope you take it and include it in your repertoire. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, please hit subscribe while you're here and head over to mandomike.com and sign up to the monthly mailing list where you get these free lessons direct to your inbox. And we'll see you next month.